Good morning, this is Daryl Peterson with MicroMeasurements. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager. And this morning I'd like to show you uh, some of our most common uh, protective coatings. Uh, we've got uh, some samples of these coatings and I just wanna kinda briefly take you through a, a couple of these different, actually in this case there's eight of them on this sample uh, plate. And I just wanna take you through the eight of them and just kinda briefly introduce you to them. So I'm going to reach over here and grab the samples, and we're just going to work basically from left to right. Uh, the first one, uh, this is our most common protective coating that gets used for strain gauges. This is the uh, M-Code A. It's a single component polyurethane protective coating. As you can see um, in the demonstration sample here, you can easily see through it, so you can easily see the strain gauge and the wiring. Uh, this provides pretty good laboratory type uh, environmental coating or is a good laboratory type environmental coating it forms kind of a thin hard layer over top of the gauges and it's about like the conformal coatings that they put over top of printed circuit boards it's a thin layer um, that's good for laboratory type environments but if you have a more adverse environment you probably ought to consider going to something else uh, the next one, uh, this one, is our MCOAT B. MCOAT B is in Baker. And this is a single part nitrile rubber that you apply over top of the strain gauges. And oftentimes you apply it over top of other environmental coatings as well. This will help to enhance the moisture protection as well as the chemical resistance of coatings such as um, maybe a wax coating or uh, some of the other coatings like MCOAT D, for example, that we'll get to in just a minute. But a lot of times this is used as an overcoat. Uh, much more chemical resistant, for example, than the MCOAT A, and a better moisture barrier as well uh, compared to the MCOAT A. So a lot of times you'll see MCOAT B as like the last uh, environmental coating that gets applied over top of the strain gauge um, to protect it. Uh, the next one here, the third one over, this one is our MCOAT C. This is a Dow Corning product. It's 3140 RTV that we add some solvent to it so you can brush it on with a brush cap applicator. Uh, this is a, goes on pretty thin since it's got the solvents in it. Uh, one of the nice things about these RTV silicon rubber coatings is that they're very low reinforcement. So if you're concerned about how much the coating would stiffen the structure, you really don't have to worry about that with uh, M coat C. And the other nice thing about it is that it has a very wide operating temperature range, in particular on the high side. In general, these coatings are rated up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have an application that's going to get quite hot, you might want to start looking at the RTV silicon rubber coatings, and the uh, M coat C is, is one of those. And then the next one, I kind of mentioned this one just a minute ago. This is the M coat D, it's an acrylic. Oftentimes, uh, we put this on and then we put something else over top of it. It could be a layer of C, or very commonly, we put a layer of MCOAT B over the top of it. This is a very good electrical insulator. The other nice thing about it is you can't see through it, so if you wanted to hide your solder connections, this would be the, the right coating to choose for that. But oftentimes, you put this on, and again, you put something else over top of it to help enhance its, uh, its protection. Uh, one of the engineers that works here used to like to, to use it quite a bit because when he was putting a lot of gauges on a large structure, he could quickly look at it and tell that he's got the environmental coating in place because it's white and it's very easy to see the contrast of this coating versus what he was putting it on. And then the next one is, uh, this is more like a sandwich of environmental coatings that we put over top of the strain gauge. This is called the m -code F. Uh, it comes in a kit, and the kit consists of a, a butyl rubber layer, which is kind of soft and sticky, and then it has a neoprene rubber layer. So you basically you cut the butyl rubber, put that over top of the gauge, then the neoprene rubber, and then you put over uh, top of that sandwich, if you will, this aluminum foil tape, and then you can see that it's been sealed around the edge uh, using some MCOAT B. Additionally, you'll find a little piece of Teflon that comes in that kit, and that's just to keep the butyl off of any exposed solder connections. So typically, you cut the Teflon, put that on first, and then the butyl rubber, neoprene rubber, aluminum foil tape, and then the MCOAT B that goes around it. 
very tough combination of a, of a mechanical barrier uh, and a moisture barrier. The other nice thing about it is that you don't have to wait for any of these uh, materials to cure other than the M coat B. And by the time you get to the M coat B, you really have 95% of your protection in place. Uh, the next one, this is MCOAT FBT. This is a, a butyl rubber. We take the butyl rubber and we throw some solvent in it and we shake it up so that we can put it in a big tube, like a big tube of toothpaste. Uh, then you can squeeze it out. I don't know if you can see this from the camera, but this coating is still tacky. It stays soft. Uh, it's a very good moisture barrier and also very low reinforcement. So if you're looking for, maybe you're protecting a a strain gauge based load cell and you're looking for something that won't stiffen the structure, uh, this is a pretty good coating to choose. Oftentimes our customers will put this on and then they'll apply something else over the top of it just to help give it better mechanical protection. But from a moisture protection standpoint, it's really good. And then the next one, this one kind of looks like uh, dark chocolate. Uh, this is a, a two-part polysulfide material. We call it MCOAT JA. It's uh, used out in industry as a fuel tank sealant. Turns out it also makes a very good environmental coating for strain gauges. It's a very tough material. Uh, it has the kind of consistency about like the tread on a shoe or maybe a tire. A uh, really tough environmental coating system uh, for strain gauges. Really good in terms of mechanical protection. You could just about hit this thing with a hammer and the gauge would be protected underneath. Uh, but also very good chemical and moisture barrier too. So when you're looking for an environmental coating that cures at room temperature and you, you maybe you need some mechanical protection and moisture protection, this is a very good combination of, um, or very good coating system uh, for protecting the gauges in those types of environments. And oftentimes it's used in combination with other coatings and oftentimes it's used in combination with this last one, which is our MCOAT W-1 microcrystalline wax. Wax is the best moisture barrier we've got, and oftentimes you'll put a coating of wax over top of the strain gauge, and then you'll follow it with some MCOAT JA, and that makes a really uh, tough combination of a moisture barrier and mechanical barrier. This wax, as I mentioned, is a great moisture barrier, but it's not very good mechanically, so a lot of times you do have to put something else over top of it to add additional protection. And also, if you look at this one, you'll notice how smooth it is on the surface. Uh, if you're ever putting wax on over top of strain gauges, you want to make sure you warm the surface of the part before you brush the wax on, and that'll help it wet and uh, look nice and smooth like that. But that's just kind of a quick overview of these eight environmental coatings. Uh, if you have any questions about the environmental coatings that we offer, uh, please feel free to reach out to us in our Applications Engineering Department. Uh, you can reach us through the website if you go to www.micro-measurements.com and click on Contact an Expert, or you can call us at 919-365-3800 and just follow the prompts to get to Applications Engineering. Thank you and have a great day.